हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई इंजीनियर राहुल भड़सगावकर वेलकम्स टू ऑल ऑन द ई सी डी सी प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ द इंस्टीट्यूट इन लास्ट सेशन वी हैव लर्न वट इज मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एंड वी हैव आइडेंटिफाइड द मेजर टाइप्स ऑफ ए मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेसेस इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न वट इज मेटल कास्टिंग वट आर द स्टेप्स इन ग्रीन सैंड कास्टिंग वट आर द एडवांटेजेस एप्लीकेशंस एंड लिमिटेशन ऑफ ए मेटल कास्टिंग सो लेट एस लर्न दिस थिंग्स ओके नाउ फ्रेंड्स मेटल कास्टिंग इज मदर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस इट इज ओल्डेस्ट नियर नेट शेप मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस एंड बाय बर्थ ऑल वी आर कास्टर्स मेटल कास्टिंग इज द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस व्हिच इज डीलिंग विद पोरिंग ऑफ लिक्विड मोल्टन मेटल इनटू ए मोल्ड कैविटी एंड ऑप्टेनिंग ए सेमी फिनिश कास्टिंग विद द हेल्प ऑफ लिक्विड टू सॉलिड कन्वर्जन as per this particular definition in order to produce a casting we have to produce a cavity inside a mold the size and shape of the cavity produced in the mold resembles with the size shape and dimensions of a casting which is to be produced and this mold cavity is then poured with the help of liquid molten metal whose casting is to be produced and then with the help of liquid to solid conversion we are getting the solid pipe piece of a metal known as a casting why it is called as a mother manufacturing process because this process give birth, birth to all other types of a manufacturing process that's what is called as a mother manufacturing process and it is oldest near net shape manufacturing process that man has invented friends this on slide we are observing a photograph of a one of the foundry wherein we are pouring a liquid molten metal into a mold cavity so the basic phenomena inside a metal casting is getting the components with the help of liquid to solid conversion okay now let us try to learn what are the steps involved in green sand casting in order to produce the desired shape of the components by using sand casting we have to make use of these six steps step number 1 is known as a pattern making friends pattern is replica or duplicate of a casting which is to be produced the most common materials for castings are cast pat, most common materials for the patterns are the part pattern may be metallic pattern wooden pattern thermocol pattern rubber pattern or it may be plastic pattern or resin pattern pattern is replica or duplicate of a casting which is produced the dimensions of a patterns all all are always slightly more than that of dimensions of a casting which is to be produced because here in casting we are getting the components with the help of a liquid to solid conversion that's why we have to provide a shrinkage allowance on the components that's why dimensions of a patterns are always smaller than uh, dimensions of a patterns are always slightly more than dimensions of a casting which has to be obtained after preparing this pattern we are putting this pattern into a mold sand mold the sand mold is prepared with the help of a molding sand which consists of a main constituent as a silica sand and 4 to 5% as a moisture and binder are there by using this pattern we are creating cavities inside a molding sand that second process is called as a molding or mold making after creating a mold cavity what we are doing in step number 3 we are melting the metal to be cast for example if you want to produce a casting of a cast iron then we have to melt the cast iron by using furnaces in foundries we are using induction furnaces in order to produce this molten metal of a material which is to be cast in step number 4 what we are doing we are pouring this molten metal into a mold cavity which conforms to the size and shape of a casting which is to be produced in step number 5 what we are doing we are allowing that mold to cool and solidify generally for cast iron family the solidification time is 35 to 40 minutes 
so after when that mold is cooled and solidify then in step number 6 what we are doing we are removing the solidify piece of a metal known as a casting by breaking the mold and then by cleaning and finishing by removing the elements of a getting system by using grinding process we are getting the semi finished casting sorry semi finished casting in the form of a piece of a metal so we can make use of these six steps in order to produce the castings by using green sand casting step number one is pattern making second one is step number two is mold making or molding step number three is melting step number four is pouring the molten metal into a mold cavity step number five is solidification allowing the mold to cool and solidify and in step number six we are removing the solidify piece of metal known as a casting by breaking the mold and then we are cleaning and finishing that cast so friends by using these six steps we can produce castings by using green sand casting technique this diagram shows the sum summary of all these steps involved in green sand casting here you can see the molding flask is there upper part of a molding flask is called as a cope lower one is called as a drag and you can observe that the pouring is there with the help of a crucibles we are with the help of a crucibles we are pouring a liquid molten metal into a mold cavity at the center core is placed core is required for obtaining the hollow cavities inside a casting on the lower side you can see the final size and shape of a casting which is to be required which has a hole at the center so in order to produce this, in order to produce this hole we have to place a core elements of getting systems are also involved here in the form of ingates and risers and they are required for assuring the 100% filling of the molten metal into all the parts of a mold cavity otherwise the defect like shrinkage cavities and porosities will be formed so in this way by using these six steps we can produce the castings by using green sand casting technique now what are the advantages of a metal casting as it is a mother manufacturing process as it is, as it, it is a oldest near net shape manufacturing process so it has numerous advantages they are since we are we can we are pouring the liquid molten metals into a mold cavity so the flow, flow ability of a liquid is more than that of a solid so very small section very thin and small sections and intricate shape we can easily produce by using casting as a manufacturing process second advantage is that it is possible to cast practically any material that is ferrous or non-ferrous any material in the world it may be ferrous or non-ferrous if we are able to convert it in liquid form then we can produce the casting from that particular material third advantage is that as the metal can be placed exactly where it is required so we are getting the large saving in the weight size and shape of a cavity they are very similar to the size and shape of a casting which is to be obtained that's why large saving in weight is obtained the tools and tools required for producing the castings they, they are very simple and inexpensive for particular batch or mass production next advantage is that there are certain parts made from the metals and alloy that can be only processed this way super category super alloys category of materials are there that is materials of the alloys of a titanium nickel cobalt they are called as a super alloys they have very high melting temperature so the components manufactured by these super alloys they are used in defense and aerospace applications and the only one method with the help of which we can produce the components from the super alloy is casting the next advantage is that size and weight of a product is not a limitation for a casting process in fact we can produce the casting of a size that is a small gear from wrist wash to big gears which are used in a very big applications like uh, uh, the sugar sugar uh, sugar mills and etc we can produce the castings from weight 
such as that is 500 grams to 5 ton also. So there is a no limitation on size and weight. Casting is the method with the help of which we can produce the prototypes. With the help of a casting, we can get wide range of properties and versatility. We can vary the mechanical and physical properties of the materials by varying the chemical composition because we are pouring the liquid molten metal. And by varying the chemical composition, we can get the wide range of a mechanical and physical properties like toughness, hardness and these things. And we can get the versatility in production by using casting. We can produce the castings in small numbers to very large numbers also. So these are the different advantages of a metal casting. Along with these advantages, there are certain limitations associated with the metal casting. They are the first limitation is that the dimensional accuracy and surface and finish of the castings produced by sand casting they are inferior as compared to other types of a manufacturing processes. By using sand casting, we are getting the uh, inferior lower dimensional accuracy and surface finish. These limitations we can overcome by shifting towards die casting. The second limitation is that casting involves complicated sequence of operations and each in each operation six steps are there in each, each step number of a parameters are there and we should have the control on all these parameters in each steps and this becomes very complicated sequence. It is labor intensive process, manpower, huge manpower is required for producing the components especially by using sand casting technique. So these are the three important limitations of the castings. Now third next part is applications. Friends, as it is a mother manufacturing process, so it has tremendous applications in our routine life. In fact, we are using number of a components from our routine life, daily life, which have been manufactured by using casting. It may be sand casting or die casting. The various regions or areas wherein the major applications of a castings are observed, they are automotive components like cylinder head, cylinder blocks of automobiles then transmission boxes, differential housings, all these components of automobiles, they are manufactured by using casting. Then we can find the applications in railways and shippings. We can find applications in aerospace, sanitary applications are there, machine tool applications are there. The lathe bed, the lathe structures, machine tool structures, levers, we are manufacturing by using casting. Then electrical and power generation applications are there. The casings of the electric motor, the housings of a wind turbines, they are produced by using casting process. Then industrial machinery applications are there. Different types of a hydraulic pumps, their casings, their impellers, they are manufactured by using casting process. Then farming and mining applications are there number of a finding, but farming equipments are there, mining equipments are there. They are manufactured by using casting process. Advanced application consists of biomedical implants and artificial limbs of super alloys. They are manufactured by using investment casting techniques and construction equipments. They are one of the main elements of construction equipments. They are manufactured by using casting process. Along with this, art, decoration and jewelry, these are the areas wherein also we can find the metal casting as a manufacturing process. Now based upon this, let us try to understand the reflection spot. Now I would like to ask question based upon these discussions. The question is on the screen, you have to say true or false, dimensions of a castings are exactly equal to dimensions of a pattern. You have to identify whether this statement is true or false. So I am taking a pause here. You identify the answer. Okay, let us hope that you have identified the correct answer. And the correct answer is dimensions of a castings are exactly equal to dimensions of a pattern. pattern. This statement is false statement dimensions of a castings are 
ऑलवेज स्मॉलर दैन द डायमेंशन ऑफ ए पैटर्न ओके बिकॉज कंसिडरिंग दी श्रिंकेज अलाउंस श्रिंकेज अलाउंस इज गिवन टू पैटर्न सो फ्रेंड्स थैंक्स टू ऑल फॉर वॉचिंग दिस पर्टिक्युलर वीडियो इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल लर्न the next manufacturing process like that is metal forming processes thank you